Alaska's Brooks Falls hosts one of the biggest concentrations of grizzly bears in the world. As salmon make their way up the six-foot falls, bears vie for the best fishing spots. It's great to see some well-known characters. Walker. Chunk. 747. But this time, it's not these big males I've come to see. I'm interested in how the females care for their young in the face of all this male competition. I'm Robert Fuller, wildlife artist and filmmaker. I'm here at Jack's camp on the banks of Lake Iliana. And we're heading out to Katmai National Park by float plane. So this is really exciting. We've loaded the planes up and we're off to the famous Brooks Falls this morning. We've got a beautiful day as well. We fly over to Natmec Lake, downstream of the falls. From here, it's just a short wander through the woods. I'm here with Daryl Balfour. So we're just walking along the path to the falls and we can see this big old tree here has been used as a scratching post and there's even bare fur on it. So this is Brooks Falls and it's absolutely amazing out there. There's over a dozen bears, so I'm getting really busy today. During the salmon run, these remote falls are a popular tourist spot for bear watching. In spring, the salmon embark on an epic migration, traveling from the Pacific Ocean to the upper reaches of these rivers. After a journey of at least a thousand miles, jumping the falls is their final challenge. It's a six foot leap to make it to their spawning grounds in Brooks Lake beyond. Safety is less than a mile away, but first they've got to run the gauntlet, jumping out of the water and into the path of some hungry grizzly bears. The falls work as a bottleneck, halting the salmon in the pools below, and making them easier to catch as they leap from the water. The chance for an easy meal leads the bears to gather here, making the most of the hunting opportunities. This has to be one of the biggest concentration of bears in Katmai National Park. We've got a lot of big bears on the falls in the background. But just down here we've got a mother with cubs. With the largest bears taking the best spots of the falls, it's fascinating to see how the females get on with their young. Mother bears give birth between January and March, so these spring cubs are around six months old. This female is known as 402. First sighted here as a sub-adult in 2001, 402 is around 25 years old. This is her eighth known litter, more than any bear on record at Brooks River. Her cubs are growing more adventurous. But they're still vulnerable. The big males are a threat here, so this experienced mother decides it's safer elsewhere. Though one of the cubs needs to learn to keep up. Closer to the falls, another young family are trying their luck. This female is 504 and she's about 10 years old. Last spring she had three cubs, but by September only two remained. 
They survived the winter, and now the yearlings are thriving. They're so inquisitive. The young female chases a feather. And copies mum. The larger male cub is never far from his sister, but even at a year old, they're not safe with big males around. She'll need to be careful, leaving them unguarded. Males can kill cubs to force the females into estrus. She clocks the danger, and she's soon back by their side. Time to move on. It's a tough job bringing up cubs, but as they get older, they can become a formidable family unit. This female is Grazer. Her cubs are two years old and are affectionately known as the Grazerettes. Bear cubs only spend two or three years with their mother. So her two girls are nearly independent. Grazer doesn't need to be as cautious now. They make their way towards the lip of the falls, where three bears are already fishing. This trio is a force to be reckoned with, and they don't go unnoticed. One of the bears nearly falls as it tries to retreat. And if their fearsome reputation isn't enough, Grazer is quick to assert her dominance. With the falls cleared, the family take prime position. As the salmon make their way upstream, they pause at the base of the falls before making their leap. The spot Grazer's taken is right in the salmon's path. Now it's just a waiting game. And the perfect time for a fishing lesson. Here, competition is fierce. And when another bear catches a fish, Grazer doesn't hesitate to stake her claim. After a vicious tug of war, she's won. Time for a family feast. Brooks Falls is an amazing place to see all this behavior up close. I've learned how mother bears all have unique tactics of bringing up their cubs. Some are cautious from experience, like 402. Others, like 504, are chances. And as their cubs grow, females like Grazer form powerful family units. It's fascinating to learn the stories of these strong mothers. Hopefully their cubs will survive to have stories of their own. There's so much more to come from wild Alaska. Stay tuned for more adventures in this breathtaking place.
thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.